Hey YouTubers, this is Bob. Well, it is so good to be back here with you guys. Well, the letters are rolling in and I'm working on them. I'm sorry I haven't been around doing messages as much as I want to. It's just been crazy busy for me. But anyways, before we get into that, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay. Let's just hear he sends his greetings to you guys. Okay, my first letter today is for uh, Jenna021. Um, hi, dear. Thanks for writing. You know, I see uh, for you going forward here um, a career connected to communications. And I feel like you're going to be doing some um, switches in the next year related to schooling. And I see you doing um, some changes here that's going to move you more into a field that's uh, communications oriented. And that's actually where you do best, OK? All right, good luck. Thanks for writing. OK, um, the next letter is 101408 Blogspot. Hi, how nice to hear from you. Thank you for your letter. Um, you know, what's interesting around you is that I feel that the universe right now is um, giving you a lot of positive energy here in the relationship area. And uh, I feel like, you know, for the last like two years, you've been really kind of going out on your own. You haven't had a lot of support. And like right now, the universe is sending you a helpmate. So I feel like the energy in that relationship area is very positive for you, OK? And uh, Fletcher's over here, and he says, Oh, and tell him to be ready because it looks like there's a wedding coming. And it'll be in the next two years. So this does look like it's going forward and will be a long-term situation. Thanks for writing. OK, next letter is for Robbie, 6942. Hi. Well, you know, Robbie, let me tell you, um, you had a past life uh, working as a black magician. You did evil magic of the dark side. And it was back in the Middle Ages. Uh, but my guides are telling me that you paid a bitter price for that and you learned your lessons. And so that's why right now as you're starting to open psychically, you're having some apprehension and some fear. And you're worried that you know, you're going to get taken over by darkness. And that's because um, you did work with those energies before. But I don't see you going back to that. And I really feel like right now your psychic and spiritual self is in a very high place. Um, you have a spirit guide named Norrell around you who's working with you. Okay. Good luck with that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Poles Forter, or 4 TRE. I don't know if I'm saying that right. P O L S 4 TRE. Poles Forter. Hi. <coughs> You know, I'm seeing some improvement around you in the health area in April. And I'd like you to um, see your doctor about allergens, particularly connected to certain spices and some herbs, because I feel that you eat something. It's on a regular basis, but it's not agreeing with you. And you're having like an allergic reaction to some foods here, OK? But it's connected to spices, uh, possibly like an herb, too. I'm not 100% sure what this is. But um, I would look at something. And I want to place this almost connected to like Indian food. So some of the spices in there, maybe the certain curry powders or turmeric or something of that nature. Um, you know, also I see a new relationship coming for you. And it looks like it's around June. And now don't kill me, but you meet them at your local pub. Um, and I feel that this person uh, brings a lot of joy into your life. So you're getting a lot of help from the spirit world, OK? And you have a guide around you who's working with you right now. And her name is Amanda, OK? And she's one of your spirit people. Um, she's kind of like a grandmother around you. Her energy is very protective. And she says, I'm helping her be on the men, OK? Thanks for working. All right, dance about one. Well, thank you for your letter. Well, first of all, let me tell you something. There is no curse on you. And your neighbors are not doing anything, OK? But what you do have going on there is you have some earthbound souls um, that are trapped in that property. And they're the ones making all the hassle. Because I keep hearing a lot of banging and noises and movement. And I feel like these souls um, go back to that property around the early 1800s. 
Um, kind of they're like, they're, they're two people I get in particular that are men. They feel like drunken spirits. So there's a lot of commotion that I'm hearing. But no, your neighbors are not doing anything to you. Uh, but it is an earthbound spirit. So what I want you to do is put salt around your doorway, around the edge of your property, and sprinkle a little bit on the window seals. And uh, you'll start to see that will kind of hold those spirits back, okay? But that's what's going on. Okay, thanks for waiting. All right, next letter, the upward spiral. Hi. You know, I'm getting around you right now a spirit guide. The name is Jack. And this Jack says that he works with you um, with your tarot readings. So you may feel like when you're pulling cards, like you see an interpretation, and yet you hear somebody else back and behind you say, oh, but remember that. Well, that's Jack, and he's working with you, okay? So good luck with that. I see a lot of growth here spiritually for you this year. Okay, Dika 78, hi. You know, hon, let me tell you here. First of all, your pregnancy is going to go fine. Not to worry, okay? But uh, what's going on around you is your sister was also your sister in your previous life. And she was with you when you had your first child. Now, in that life, she died. So this right now, she, on a soul level, is afraid that she's at the end of her life. And so she's having some anxiety, but she's not. And I do see her coming back around here. But um, you want to kind of let her know that you're fine. And uh, and I see her being more responsive here, okay? All right. Thank you so much for writing. All right. Let's see. Uh, Condestave Jam. hope I'm saying that right. You know, one of the things that I see around you is you're going to be an author in the coming years. And I see you um, working in the area, interestingly, of writing children's books and also doing like illustrations for children's work. Um, and I do believe some of this will eventually become animated. So you may become an animator as well. Okay, but it looks like you're on track. Good luck for that. All right. And let's see, our next letter, the Daisy Blue, one, two, three. Hello, dear. Thank you for writing. Well, first of all, I want to tell you here, I do pick up around you some spirit activity. And I am receiving them as I do pick up a male around you on a place that's on the father's side of the family here. And uh, this man keeps, it's almost like he's weeping for joy. He's not upset. He's happy because he says, like, he wants you to know that he is in the light and that he is healed. He also takes a lot of deep breaths here. And I feel at the time of his crossing, there were some issues around the lungs. Uh, but he goes, and he breathes out like he's totally fine, okay? And he's asking me to tell you that there's some new beginnings here in the month of July for you because you've been kind of ready for some major life changes. And he says he's walking you through that. And in July, it looks like you're going to start to get some new beginnings here. And I see some improvement in the financial area. But your dad's in the light. He loves you. He's with you. There's nothing to worry about. Okay? God bless you, dear. Thanks for writing. Guys, I'm afraid that's all I've got time for. But I appreciate you being here. Keep watching. Um, remember when you get a chance, uh, go and pick up my book, Ouija Mysteries. You can get it on Amazon.com or at my website. And next week, I'll bring you guys more messages from the spirit world.